has the final say. Jehovah has the final say. Heavenly Father, I thank you. Mm, thank you for your glory. Thank you for your power. Thank you, omnipotent Father. Thank you, King Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. I pray on this day what you want me to say and get off this camera. You are the adornment of my lips. In the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, I pray. Okay, so the first part, I guess I'll go right into it. I kept, I saw the number 409, like two times in one day. I saw the number 409 two, two, two times in one day. So I went to go look it up last night. I couldn't really find like a, um, a biblical website. I went, I referenced, I referenced joy number before. So I did, um, when I saw them, I did go ahead and read into joynumber.com. Again, they're called angel numbers because the angels of the Lord God, Jesus Christ Almighty, they're angels. And so they communicate through numbers. And so they call them angel numbers. That's it. By the Holy Spirit. That's it. Now, be careful of looking into mediums and tarot card readers they, that don't click on those websites. That's not biblical references. But you have websites of, of, of Christian believers who look into astrology and then they come back and give us some kind of definition or meaning to the number in a non-so-universal way. Okay, and so what I found with 409 is that you are maturing. You're maturing, amen, Holy Spirit, and you're receiving knowledge. You have knowledge. The Lord has blessed you with knowledge, okay? Um, keep hope and confidence in the Lord. Keep hope and confidence and trust in the Lord and what he's doing in your life. That's the only other thing that I saw, um, you're on the right track. Take your ministry serious. Take your job serious. Take your business serious. Um, take the prophetic serious. Whatever the Lord has purposed you to do, take it seriously. Your hair business, take it serious. Your shoe business, take it serious. Your ministry, I already said that. Whatever the Lord has you to do, take it serious. Um, that's it for 409. Now, moving into the prophetic, praise the Lord. So, I woke up this morning, and the Lord said, happy birthday. So, I said, what's somebody's birthday? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'll be reading from Psalm 116, okay? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, King Jesus. Thanksgiving for deliverance from death. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications. Because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. The pains of death surrounded me. And the pains of Sheol laid hold of me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. Oh, Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low and he saved me. Return to your rest, O oh my soul. For the Lord has dealt bountiful with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from failing. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, therefore I spoke. I am greatly afflicted. I said in my house, all men are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits toward me? I will take up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. 
I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maid servant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving. And I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord now in the presence of all his people. And amen, Holy Spirit, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. The Lord said, don't forget him. He saved you from death. He allowed you to live spiritually. He's allowing you to live here in the land of the living. Repay the Lord with our, we repay him with our salvation. We become a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Every day, every day you wake up, you live for God. You die for him. Dying to flesh. That don't mean that you, you killing your flesh. That's it. You just killing your flesh by the Holy Spirit. So when the Lord says happy birthday, he saved you. Praise God. He saved, he saved you from that attack. He saved you from dying spiritually. He saved us from dying physically so that we could live to proclaim his goodness. Proclaim and live in our salvation, not to forget God, not to just wake up in a, in a week or two later, you not even in church and God just saved your life from this car accident. When did you turn your age? When did you turn your life over to Jesus? Instagram keeps stopping, so I keep stopping. When did you turn your life over to Jesus Christ and fully surrender to him? The Lord is giving you another chance. This is the prophecy for today. Welcome as you come in. He says, happy birthday. The Lord is a little The Lord is allowing you to live here in the land of the living in the Holy Spirit so that you can fulfill your kingdom assignment, which is proclaiming and confessing the gospel of the Lord God Almighty Jesus Christ for souls to be saved and to stay saved in the Lord. That is your number one mission here. Everything else the Lord shows you as you are obedient. He gives you step by step. Can I testify? Can I thank the Lord? Because like the last three or four days, like I just been low in prayer. I woke up yesterday and I was just back. So can I just say thank you, Lord? Can I just say thank you, Lord? Thank you, King Jesus Christ. Thank you to my spiritual parents and then Prophet Passion Java and then my husband to be prayed. Then can I just say thank you, Lord? Ah, Shatalama. The Lord has allowed you to live. He saved you from death. How are you going to repay the Lord with your life every day that the Lord allows you to have a birthday? He's allowing you to live here. He don't have to do that because tomorrow is not promised. Look at the school shooting. We just talked about death a week ago. And now it was a school shooting, another school shooting in, in a private school like that. <laughs> a Christian private school. Tomorrow is not promised. So how are you making the best out of your life for the Lord that you're here? We are here to do work. And then when we leave, then that deter the work that we did down here, it determines our seniority in heaven. Elias Sota, a lot of people didn't know that. The work that you do down here, I got chills. The work that you do down here in the land of the living, here in this universe, this earth, it determines your seniority and your ranking in, in the heaven in the heavens where the, where the Lord, the Heavenly Father at. 
where the kingdom is. That determines, okay, you just going to believe in the Lord and that's it. Okay, you just be one of the lower choir angels. Okay, no, you fought for God. You stuck up for him. Okay, you could be seated next to his throne. It's real. We are spirit ish, so talama. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Which means when we die, we go back to dust and ashes. <laughs> the Lord said, Here go your prophecy. He's allowing you to live. <laughs> what the Holy Spirit saying? He's allowing you to live. Happy birthday. So pray Psalm 116 and pray and thank the Lord. Oh, Satala, Kabra Sata, Isotora. Amen, Lord. A lot of y'all went to voodoo, did voodoo, obey us, Saintia, witchcraft, whatever have you not to call it. It was wicked and it wasn't of God. He said you worship false gods while doing that. And he's allowing you to live. Thank the Lord, because he always says he doesn't permit a sorceress to live. I saw a witch go blind in church. I saw the deaf be healed. I saw people get, get picked out of their wheelchairs. I saw evil altars where fire physically come down and burn up the house. We serve a supernatural God, an all-powerful God. Amen. El Elyon. We serve the most high God. And y'all think these are just stories. Oh, a well, God called fire down with Elijah. And no, 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 no. This stuff is real. Moses was real. Pharaoh was real. And guess what? Pharaoh died with the workers. Don't play with God. So tada, I gotta go. I pray I have a blessed day. Thanksgiving for deliverance from death. Happy birthday.